guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have a very special video. We are doing a self-care Sunday session. You guys get to spend the day with me luxuriating and tending to my skin. You guys might be seeing this a day or so later, but if you'd like to see how I relax and rejuvenate and repair my skin, get ready for my week, and we're also gonna have a little girl chat, then please keep watching. Okay, you guys, today's video is actually being sponsored by Teamy Blends. I love Teamy. I've actually used a plethora of products from Teamy, but today we're going to be focusing on skincare of course i'm going to be sharing with you guys two of their best selling masks one that i have loved for at least a year it is their detox mask which is perfect for oily congested pores i've especially been loving it because you guys know maskne is not giving your girl a break so i use their detox mask when my pores are just feeling really congested if i'm having breakouts and i'm very oily their newest mask is called the Overnight Sleep Mask, and this is a hydration treatment. I really love overnight masks because I deal with my fair share of dehydration. Though I do have oily skin, my skin gets really dehydrated specifically when I'm dealing with my fair share of acne and or maskne. So hydration is really, really important to me. This mask contains niacinamide, which is a skin brightener, and it's also an effective treatment for acneic skin. And one of my favorite holy grail ingredients, which is hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant, so it works to draw moisture into the skin. This mask is amazing at providing great hydration benefits, so stick around later on in the video to see me apply one of these masks and tell you guys more about all the great benefits. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, which I hope you are, you will know that every Sunday I do a self-care Sunday. This is something that I started doing a few years ago because Sundays have always been my day to recharge. When the world was open on Saturdays, I would go out, run errands, spend time with family and and loved ones but Sundays were the day for the Lord and also for me to recharge and get ready for the week ahead so I always do skincare on Sunday because that's the day when I have most of my free time to spend with myself I feel like I'll just speak for myself I spend my entire week giving and doing for others and wearing the many hats that so many of us women wear and so it is always like of the utmost important that I spend one day a week <laughs> just caring for myself and giving back to myself and I always tell you guys it's your gentle reminder to do one thing nice for yourself this coming week because you deserve it so let's get started I have gone ahead and cleansed my skin because that's how I always start this is the cleanser that I'm currently using it is the first aid beauty pure skin face cleanser and I love this cleanser it is so gentle and creamy it's really nice for all skin types it is going to be especially nice for those of you who have more of dry skin even combination and oily skin because I I like using it. Uh, it also takes away all of your makeup, which is nice. It does sting when it gets in my eyes, but I like the fact that it's gentle, effective. It's also great if you have eczema or rosacea. It's a super, super gentle cleanser, but it's also effective. So I've been loving that. And I just use it with my Clean Skin Club towel. I will link both of these products below. So I like to always start with a clean slate because that's how you get the maximum results of whatever you are doing to your face after that. Next, I'm going to steam my skin. So let me just tell you a little bit about my skin right now. Uh, because I have to wear a mask every time I leave the house, which is usually like three to four times a week. Maskne, I mean, if you see my face, all this hyperpigmentation and acne scarring, it's due to maskne. I can't get away from it. I'm going to continue wearing my mask every time I leave the house and have to interact with other people. So unfortunately, I have not been able to mitigate it. And because of such, I use a lot of acne products during the week, which can be very, very drying on my skin so today it's all about hydration and that's why we are going to be doing a steam treatment I just filled up my water reservoir I will link the actual steamer that I have down below I received it for Christmas it is just totally a vibe I love it so while this gets going you can actually see the steam coming out I love steaming because it increases the blood flow to your skin. It also helps boost uh, the effectiveness of all the products you use subsequently because now your pores are more open and ready to absorb all the amazing benefits um, with each skincare product that you're going to use. So I really found steaming to be very, very effective. I don't steam every week, but when I feel like my skin needs a little extra TLC, I will steam. It's also great for introducing a lot of moisture to the skin which hello is really important for me right now just because my skin is a bit dehydrated and once again I do have oily skin but because of the acne products that I'm using and I'll share one of them today 
my skin just needs a little extra TLC. So I usually put this on, it usually lasts for about 10, 11, 12 minutes. So, so relaxing, oh, you guys. I just love it. And I asked you guys on Instagram to send me your topics for today's video because I'd be doing a get ready with me. So let me pull up the questions. I know a lot of you guys are a bit disappointed that the vlogs are not coming back, but I promise you, you get a more in-depth look at my life on Instagram. So I will leave my channel name across the screen and link down below. Let's get into these questions. The first question someone had is sunscreen. And I'm not gonna say you all's um, screen names because some people like are really private. But my love, I can say her name is BB Prep. She's actually a YouTuber and I'll link her channel down below. She said sunscreen, what are the best kinds for sensitive skin in black girls anti-aging? So I'm going to post some photos of my favorite sunscreens across the screen. Sunscreen is so important, you guys. I think just growing up, just speaking for myself, being African American, um, we think that we don't need sunscreen. We think that the melanin in our skin is protective enough in nature and it is not. I was speaking with someone this week and they said, well, I have a lot of pigment in my skin, so I have a lot of melanin and I don't need sunscreen. And I said, okay. <laughs> um, sunscreen is really beneficial. My favorite is by Neutrogena. I'll pop it up on the screen. It's great for sensitive skin and acne prone skin, which is really important to me. I know for myself, I have really oily skin traditionally, so I don't like anything that feels really thick and heavy or really oily on my skin. The Neutrogena one I use also doesn't leave a white cast, which is important when you have deeper skin. The Black Girl sunscreen is supposed to be really nice. I have not tried that. Shiseido makes a few sunscreens. I believe the Urban Environment line, it's the white one. I'll link them and put them across the screen. Those are really good. Um, there's a dermatologist I follow on Instagram and he did a reel all about the best sunscreens for African-American skin. I will link those down below as well. Super Goop's Unseen Sunscreen is really nice for uh, not leaving any heavy feeling on your skin. I got my mother using that and she cannot live without it. Uh, that doesn't leave a white cast. It's virtually invisible. That's a really nice sunscreen. I also know that people really love the Glow Better by Super Goop. One of my girls actually uses that. So yeah, I will link about five sunscreens down below that I would recommend. Sunscreen is the number one anti-aging product that I think everybody needs. Like I said, a lot of us tend to neglect sunscreen because let's face it, a lot of sunscreens or at least the old school sunscreens were very, very heavy and thick and they were not formulated for African-Americans. So a lot of times they did leave you with a white cast and you know, that doesn't make you want to use sunscreen. So I'll link down below my favorites. I wouldn't necessarily say that I have favorites that are more geared towards anti-aging, though I'm sure they do have some. But for me, as far as sunscreen, I just look for products that aren't thick and don't leave a white cast because that's really, really important. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Okay, the next question is, would you ever do more cooking videos? The food you post always looks divine. Well, thank you, sweetheart. Um, probably not on YouTube, at least not right now. I cook because I have to, but not because I generally like it. Um, I'll think about it though. Maybe we could have a cooking with Keiko segment again. But yeah, I don't like cooking, you guys. And I know people are always shocked because I'm always in that kitchen whipping pots. But yeah, don't like cooking, but I can absolutely try to incorporate more cooking videos on my channel. My girl being Mika J, I will link her channel down below. She says, what do you use to manage your expenses? I use Excel spreadsheets. I find that those are um, just the best because I can have them everywhere I am on my computer, on my iPad, on my phone. I also just use the Notes app. I'm someone who is very OCD, so it's really important for me to budget. I do a zero dollar budget, which is where I total up everything that I'm going to spend for the month to match how much money I have coming in. So that's kind of how I juggle it. I try to keep all of my expenses being paid by one income source. So, you know, if I decide not to come to YouTube next month, I can still pay all my bills for my job. So things like that just kind of make it easier for me. But Excel spreadsheets, 
they make all the worlds of difference. Next question, my guy, I am Jay Holloway. These are all of my faves. He actually also has a YouTube channel, so I will link it down below. I love him. He said, do you find it easier or harder to maintain digital friendships in comparison to in real life, to real life friendships? Um, I think digital friendships are easier just because you meet the people digitally and so you usually <laughs> communicate digitally unless they live near you. I am not a talker. I don't like talking on the phone. I don't like FaceTiming. I'm a person who loves to multitask. So unless you are comfortable texting, you probably won't hear from me very often. But I find that the friends I've made through social media, they usually love texting. They usually love you know, forms of communication like that. So I feel it's a bit easier to connect with them, specifically during the past year, because, you know, I haven't really been around a lot of my friends, but yeah, I find it's a bit easier just because we're already online because that's how we met. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this steam and then we will get back to the rest of my routine and these questions, darling. Hey guys, I have finished steaming my face. It feels so plump and hydrated and amazing. Next, I'm going to exfoliate. The number one best way to get off the outer layer of skin, specifically if you're dealing with issues of dehydration or dryness, is exfoliating. I have a complete video on my channel all about exfoliation. It is called All About Skin Care, All About Exfoliation. I feel like once again, as children, we are not taught to exfoliate or let me at least speak from my own experience. I was not taught to exfoliate as a child, I needed my entire body exfoliated, including my face. So I love these First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. They are perfect for exfoliating, toning, and brightening my skin. It features chemical and manual exfoliation, which I talk about all in that video. So it's a pad that uses manual exfoliation, but it also has acids in it that help to chemically exfoliate. I've been using these pads for probably almost a decade. I have always raved about them. First Aid Beauty makes amazing products. Now, if you have have traditionally dry skin or sensitive or irritated skin, you might want to stay away from anything that's abrasive. Now, I don't think this is really abrasive for my skin, but if you have sensitive skin, I wouldn't use any type of manual exfoliation that's going to be way too much. So for me, these are perfect. I use them once or twice a week, specifically before I film. I use them in the morning because they help to exfoliate my skin, which also provides better makeup application, and also they just make my skin glow and they make it so bright and I love the way my skin feels. Now, I will be appearing red, but that's because I'm physically manipulating my skin. You really want to concentrate on areas where you have dark spots or post-inflammatory skin or hyperpigmentation or any um, melasma just because uh, this can really help to lighten those areas. Okay, so. I cleansed my skin before starting this video, but look, that is dead skin, okay? So even though you're cleansing your skin day to day, week to week, that doesn't mean you are getting everything off of the top layer, your epidermis. There are dead skin cells. There's trapped dirt, in my case, oil, anything like that. Maybe makeup left around the hairline of my face. So I love using these pads. They are just simply amazing. I've raved about them for years and they're really, really effective. Next, let's do some eye treatments. These are my Patchology Rejuvenating Eye Gels. I love these so much because they really help to provide a lot of hydration to my under eye area. Um, not that it's generally dry but this is just a nice little treatment to do on Sundays. Okay so I'm just going to apply these under my eye and I'm going to leave them on for about 10 minutes darling. They are so soothing and cooling. These would be perfect for keeping in your skincare fridge if you have one because they just really help to hydrate and cool your under eye areas. They also make it really, really smooth. So I actually enjoy these. I picked these up uh, around the holiday season after Christmas and I adore them. Okay, let's answer another question while we are waiting. One of my girls said, how are you adjusting to outside being open again? 
I'm not because I'm not outside. <laughs> Atlanta was never really closed. I feel like Atlanta has been busted wide open. <laughs> all the clubs, all the bars, strip clubs, everything. So um, I stay my behind at home. <laughs> yeah, I see maybe a few people. Even though outside is open, I don't wanna be around all those people. So yeah, I'm not adjusting to outside being open. I'm just staying safe and staying home. I wanna go outside <laughs> in Gallivant, but it's just not worth it for me. Okay, you guys, I'm going to finish letting my under eye area marinate and I will catch up with you when I'm done. It's been about 10 minutes. Let me take these off. Let me remove my eye gel patches and my under eye area just feels so smooth and hydrated. Oh gosh, it just feels so bouncy and my skin just feels Mm, luscious. Okay, so our next step is going to be to treat. Now, like I said, I've been experiencing my fair amount of breakouts, so I always have to treat my skin. I'm gonna be using this serum from Lather. I received this first in a video collaboration I did with Lather, and I loved it so much. I've been repurchasing it. I use it every day because like I said, every time I put on my mask, I get a new breakout. It's just, my skin does not like having anything touch it. I'm gonna pop in a photo of what my skin looks like this time well March of last year it was day and night so mask me has been ruining my skin but this serum I really like because it's lightweight and I can wear it under makeup which is important to me because like I said I just can't get away from mask me now because I get mask me and this right now is not technically acne I mean sometimes I'll get an acne bump but for the most part, this is mask me. I just apply it where I need it, which is usually just my cheeks, chin, and jawline. So I've applied that. Next, we're gonna go in with our retinol. Retinol is one of the top three products that I think every man or woman needs in their skincare routine. Retinol helps to speed up cellular turnover, which is amazing because as we age, our cell turnover rate decreases, which means that if I am 15 and I get a blemish or I cut my skin, my skin is going to repair itself more quickly than at 35 and then at 65. So it's really important if you're focused on anti-age and repairing your skin if you have blemishes, if you have post-acne scarring, uh, hyperpigmentation, anything like that, melasma, sunspots, you want to be using a retinol because it's going to help speed up that cell turnover, which is really, really amazing. Now, the one thing you do want to be mindful of is that if you're using a retinol, you better be using a sunscreen. If you are not, you're wasting your money. So I'm just gonna pat this all over my skin and rub it in. Now I love this retinol because it's really, really lightweight. It absorbs really well into the skin. It has a really nice absorption rate and so it doesn't feel thick and heavy. As you can see, that's consistent with me. I like things that are very lightweight because I traditionally have really oily skin. So retinol is amazing. Now during my skincare Sunday routine, I usually do my skincare for the nighttime because I usually do it around like, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So I'm doing my routine as I would do it to get ready for bed. Retinol is something that should only be used traditionally at night. So make sure if you're using vitamin C and retinol in your routine, use one in the day, which should be vitamin C, and use your retinol at night. So that's just a little tidbit. And don't forget to also use your sunscreen during the day. If not, you can throw this retinol away because it's doing nothing. Okay, now for the start of the show. First, I'm going to put on a little lip balm because my lips get very dry easily. This is the Laneige Lip Balm. I will, of course, link that down below. Okay, for the start of the show today, I know I spoke about this a little earlier, but now I'm going to give you all the juicy details. This is Timmy's new overnight sleep mask. It features niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. You guys know hyaluronic acid is one of my favorite skincare ingredients. If you deal with dry, dehydrated skin, if you would like more luminous skin, if you want your skin to glow, hyaluronic acid is something that you should really be using. Don't let the name fool you. This is not an acid in terms of being like a peel or anything that's going to 
to make your skin burn. Hyaluronic acid is just the name of the ingredient, but it's really, really great. Like I said earlier, it's a humectant, so it helps to increase the moisture barrier of your skin, which promotes more hydrated skin. I really like this product because it has a gel consistency, which most overnight masks will have. You don't want them to be too, too thick, but you do want them to have a nice viscous texture. So if you can see on my finger, it's a nice gel viscous texture, but it's not too thick. I'm just going to start, oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna start by applying it to my cheek. This smells like rose. Now, if you guys watch any of my fragrance videos, you know that I love the scent of rose. So it has a really nice, peaceful floral scent. Uh, this is all natural, Timmy Skin Care. It's actually vegan and all natural. It's cruelty free. So it doesn't have any nasty, harmful ingredients. So I really appreciate that. A few years ago, I started using more products that were safer and more clean to my skin and my body overall. So as you can see, this product absorbs really nicely and kind of just melts into my skin because it kind of ha it doesn't have a gel texture, but it's a very like cushiony, viscous product. I really like it and it's great because it's not too thick, but it really melts into your skin and absorbs really well. So I'm going to continue applying this product to my skin and as you can tell it is glowing already and it looks hydrating i have been using this product for an entire week straight i put it on at night and in the morning my skin is just so brightened and hydrated i mean i'm sure you guys can see right now my skin looks very very hydrated i've really been loving this mask so if you guys are interested in a really nice hydrating overnight mask from teamy i will definitely link it down below as well as provide a coupon code these are really great for people who are busy and don't want to do any intense treatments during the day that take extra time because all you have to do is go to bed and you wake up with nice hydrated skin. I'm not going to talk too much about the detox mask, but you guys know I love this. Um, they sent another one for me to actually talk about in this video. I use this mask really regularly in my routine. I featured it in a ton of videos and a ton of postings on Instagram. If you have texture issues, oily skin, if if you have congested pores, if you have acne, blemishes, breakouts, anything of the sort, you will love this detox mask. It's a clay mask, and I am not a traditional lover of clay masks, but this one is really nice. You apply it to the skin, you wait 10 minutes, it will turn a light green color, and then you rinse it off, and it has really been one of my staples in my routine for about a year now. So those are the two masks that I am loving. Let's get back to these questions now that we are done with our skincare routine. Somebody said, give us a list of side hustles or profitable small businesses. So the first I'm going to recommend is blogging, blogging, YouTube, Instagram, very profitable. I know unless you are into social media in terms of using it as a way to make money, you might not understand just how profitable it is. Um, yeah, I'm not going to give specifics, but I can live off of the money that I make on social media right now. And I don't have a huge page. Uh, I don't have a ton of subscribers. It is profitable. That's one of my favorite ways, specifically if you love sharing, like I love sharing. Don't ever feel like you are bothering me when you ask me about a product, my recommendation. I love it. I used to work in the beauty industry. This is what I did for a living when I did. I enjoy this, so for me, this will be my top way. Also, anything that you find you are an expert at or you have more knowledge than other people. So if you are great at editing, if you are great at putting together a website, if you can make graphics, anything like that, capitalize on the skill set that you have that you know how to do very well. Specifically, if people are coming to you for certain things. Like before I started working in the beauty industry, people would always come to me asking me about product recommendations because I really loved it. Also, being a reseller, before I got into social media, I was also a reseller. I still kind of do a little bit of it now. Reselling things on Poshmark, Amazon even, on eBay, um, Mercari, sites like that. Very profitable if you know how to do it. It's all about marketing with social media, so definitely tap into that. That's a great way to be able to make money. I was that child in high school that was buying candy and selling it out of my locker and making a profit. So I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit to me. I know how 
about to make some money work for me and flip a coin, okay? So that's another way. Um, Airbnbs, even renting your car off, I think there are some websites that allow you to rent your car for people to use. You just have to get creative, but anything that you know how to do well, maybe you can do hair really well, maybe learn how to do lashes and do lashes for people. That's a very lucrative business. There are so many ways to be able to make money without having to spend a lot of money up front. One thing I've even been looking into is getting my esthetician license because I love waxing at home and I do an amazing job at waxing myself. So from my experience, my advice would be to capitalize on anything that you do easily, effortlessly, and that you are good at. So for me, social media, reselling, it could even be real estate. Okay, real estate's very profitable as well. But for me, it's something that you can easily do while working your regular job that's not going to take too much time out of you, but that you also enjoy. So those would be kind of my recommendations. But I also have a video about 10 ways to make, I think, an extra $10,000 a month. So I will link that down below. Um, so she said my last answer was completely unrelated to get ready with me. It's okay, girl. She wanted to know how I feel about makeup, eyeshadow, and lipstick matching your outfits. I love doing that. I am a neutral girl, so specifically with me, my makeup pretty much stays the same, and I will switch out a lip color, and that's really it. So if I'm wearing a floral blouse and it has red in it, I'll pop on a red lipstick. I don't mind that at all. I think it's just about how many things that you're matching with your makeup. It's just about how you put it together. But I love doing that specifically because like I said, I'm into neutral so much and I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow. I like playing it up with my lips especially, but even when I'm wearing an all black everything outfit, I will throw on a green shimmer shadow. I love that and I think it's pretty. See, one of my loves said, any observations you have about gray hair, it's texture. Um, and I think she's talking about a patch of gray hair she wants to leave in her hair, but the comment got cut off. I have found that my gray hair is a little more coarse than my brown hair. Um, I know you guys can see a patch there. I am probably 35% gray. I started <laughs> graying at age 16. That's when I found my first gray hair. I'm now into my 30s and I'm gonna be salt and pepper soon. But really coarseness is the only thing I've like noticed, but I embrace my gray hair. I am embracing aging gracefully. Like I'm not gonna get any younger. I think I look good for my age. And yeah, the only thing I really noticed is coarseness. My gray hair is definitely um, a little more course but I'm embracing it I don't really do anything about it okay and the last question can you do a segment for beginner investors no because I don't know enough we have a financial planner that I use for investing but when I started off investing it was really just looking up YouTube videos um, I know a lot of people don't necessarily love Dave Ramsey but I did learn a bit of investing through him there are countless apps you can use but I am not your girl to learn about investing from because I don't know too much I use a financial advisor and yeah I'm sorry I can't give you too many tips what I will say though is that if you can start investing young because it really adds up and by the time you retire you could have two million plus just by putting a little money to the side and investing it so I think investing is a good thing I know it's a luxury it's not something that everybody will want to do and it's not something that is necessary it's a luxury but if you do it the right way and if you find someone that you can connect with who can set you on the right path it can be super profitable but I am not your girl you guys I don't have a degree in finance now if you want to know anything about psychology I have two degrees I'm your girl but investing I'm sorry <laughs> but um, Dave Ramsey is how I got started and like I said I use a financial planner and that is how I have learned just a little bit Okay, I'm not an investing guru, but I hope you guys enjoyed this girl chat segment, uh, self-care Sunday routine. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of my routine and how I just relax and unwind for the week. This is such an integral part of my week. It's so very important for me to take time out for myself because I wear many hats during the week and I don't have a lot of time where I can just sit back and exhale. So this is one thing that I really delight in. Once again, if you guys are interested 
and the two Timmy masks that I shared. I will link them down below, check them out. This is an OG staple. If you've been watching for a year, you would know, but I really like this for use as a hydration treatment. I mean, look at my skin, like, hello girl. She's glowing and hydrated. So I love you guys so much for watching. Thank you for watching and thank you to Timmy for sponsoring this video. I will see you guys in the next week. And this is your gentle reminder to do something for yourself this week because you deserve it and you might even need it. I love you guys. Bye-bye.